Okay, so I'm going to give you a brief explanation of the cabling inside your master socket. What you'll like to see when you remove the bottom plate <coughs> to gain access, for example, to the test socket. So I've already removed the two screws here. You might find they're Phillips head, you might find they're a flat head. So there we are, remove the front cover. Now, uh, there's a couple of uh, things about this. First of all, what's happened here is that's a gel crimp. That's merely been done to extend the uh, internal wiring because it's probably a bit too short. And there's two of those. Anything connected to this should be internal cabling. The orange cable here is your bell cable. Now a very simple uh, fix um, for a lot of people. If you have an internal fault, <coughs> um, you can sometimes do what's called a pair swap. Now a pair swap involves changing around which cables go where. So for example, as you can see, um, this is set up to use the first pair in the cable. And these are two pair cables. So we have obviously orange and white. Now at the moment orange and white is being used as bell, cable, bell wire, but that's easily resolved. Um, what I would do in the case where you have an internal fault, i.e. where you've plugged into your test socket and found that you've got good clean service, whether it's with your uh, voice calls or with your broadband. If that's the case, what I would then do is try a little trick. Basically pull all the, ca all the cables out of here you need to know a little bit about the layout of your wiring, where each cable goes. And then I would swap uh, the cables that they're on to the orange and white cables. So take, in other words, take all the cables out of here and reconnect everything so it's on orange and white. The bell wire, quite honestly, isn't needed. That's, that's a, 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 something from the past. Unless you're running an outside bell on your, on your property, or in your office, you won't need the bell wire. Um, so it's a very easy fix. So that's what I would do. I'd pull every single wire out of there, like so. And instead of your, instead of it being wired up with blue and white, what I would do is I would fold up those up inside there. I would put it on orange and white on each cable put on orange and white and then <clears throat> what I would do is then go to your sockets and make sure your sockets are wired up orange and white. Now on your sockets the layout for wiring is very simple one cable goes on two the other cable goes on five on the master socket on the front plate again one cable goes on two another cable goes on five and that's it that's pretty much it that's the easiest way to resolve an internal fault it's a quick way it's a free way um, and usually it works um, I do probably something around 15 uh, out of my call outs a month probably about 15 are uh, easily resolved with a pair swap um, and it lasts two or three years and then you go back again and then you replace the cable now you probably could you could replace the cable if that's what you want to do but like I say and it's an easy way to resolve your fault if that doesn't work if you do what I've just said do a pair swap and that doesn't work then check your filters make sure your filters are um, working okay if you haven't replaced your filters for a while if they're you know 12 months or older then replace those you can also find that uh, a faulty phone will cause broadband dropout there's quite a few things that will cause it if you've got a phone plugged in without a filter that will also cause it but it's it's uh, it's an easy fix this one so as I say normally you would start off and your cabling will be on blue and white or white and blue normally blue and white goes to two white and blue goes to five 
what I would do is I would change it so that you've got orange and white on two, white and orange on five, and then I would I would go around the sockets and do the same. Now you may also have multiple sockets, so you may have your sockets may be wired in series, which means that each socket gets a feed from another socket. And if that's the case, you'll have to go around all your sockets, changing over to orange and white. And like I say, the only time where you'll have a problem there is if, for example, if there is a junction box somewhere, there may be a junction box in the attic. It may be that one of these cables here goes up to the attic to a junction box, and then it goes to, your, uh, you know, to the sockets around the property. If that's the case, then you'll need to investigate further. If you find that you change over and you have some sockets that aren't working, it'll be because there's a, a junction point somewhere. So I hope that's helped. If you've got any questions, uh, if you need any help with anything, let me know. Um, I've years of experience, so I'm sure I can uh, answer your questions. Okay, thanks.